guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tendi if you don't already know me today I want to talk to you guys about one of the reasons why I made this channel I wanted to share my journey through med school and just have more information out there about uh, the journey of med school at least here at the University of Debrecen where I am so let's get right into it so this is the prospectus uh, this is from 2016 to 2017. This is when I started my first year in medical school. So I'm going to start from the very beginning, before I came to Hungary, uh, how I started the application process. So I heard this uh, about this uni from a family member who recommended this uni. I checked it out and everything like that. And then eventually I applied. Um, so... <laughs> This is, yeah, it's a funny story, but hey, don't judge me. So I actually accidentally applied for the BMC course because, you know, a girl was really insecure about studying medicine. And yeah, I was like, nah, I don't know if I'm the stuff for it. So I saw on the website, there was like basic medicine course and then general medicine course. I said, hmm. sis, do what you can handle, sis. Go for the basic one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, newsflash, it wasn't the uh, basic medicine course, it was like the pre-medicine course, it was BMC, guys, and yeah, so I registered for that, and I only realized that I'd met, registered for this pre-med course kind of thing too late. I was already enrolled as a student, I'd already come here when I discovered that, so please don't make the same mistake. So I came to Debrecen, I actually remember the date, I think August the 28th in 2015, I landed in this country um, to start my basic medicine course. So I did the long BMC, which is a year long. There's the long BMC and the short BMC. The short BMC is like a crash course. It, I think it's about six months. So it starts at the beginning of the year, which is like January, February. So at the half of the academic year that we have. So the academic year here in Debrecen is from September to the summer, like July, June, July, something like that. So I started, yeah, um, I came in August and we started in September. And usually you start the Hungarian, there's a Hungarian crush course that they have that you're supposed to, you know, take before you start BMC. And BMC comprises of mainly three courses, so biology, physics, and chemistry. So basically like your high school <laughs> subjects, but I think maybe like at like A level. So really, if you've done your A levels, like this is repetition for you. This is something that is in you. So this is why it was a mistake on my part, because I did my A levels and this was basically me repeating stuff I had done because my combination was math, physics, and chemistry. And I really love biology, so I was also good with that. But anyways, I think it was a good thing for me that I made this mistake because I think it gave me a lot of time to adjust to my environment. Something that is very important when you're going to study abroad, studying in a different country. I think it was definitely necessary for me so yeah so you have two semesters you supposed to take um i think you have an exam period there's also opportunities for you to exempt so basically an exemption is when you take a test and you you know achieve a certain grade or score that exempts you from actually having to take the final exam so if so usually it's in the 90 percentiles and stuff like that so if you do really good then you don't have to take the final exam for the course if you don't then you have to take the final exam for the course at the end of the semester so i did that so first semester and then second semester and then so with bmc um depending on the percentiles for all the three courses you can qualify for medicine um i believe dentistry or pharmacy you know so in that order so the higher percentile medicine then there's a second one i think it's for dentistry and then the third one is for pharmacy this is how it was when i i did bmc back in 2015 16 i believe it's still the same a lot of the system has changed now but i think the main idea is still the same so i completed my bmc and then i started my 
first year. Okay, so I also just opened the prospectus so I can go through, you know, the correct number of courses and I hope this helps. So before we get into the details about the subjects that you're going to do when you start your first year of medical school, I want to point out that this uni has a credit system. So yes, yeah, so, um, for each year, there's some slight differences. So for each year, there's a number of credits that's, uh, that you're supposed to acquire by the time you end your, your medical school. And these credits are divided into like your compulsory subjects, um, compulsory electives and freely chosen electives. So the compulsory subjects are already part of your curriculum. You already got to register for them. And then compulsory electives, some of them are registered for you, I think, in first year. And then from second year going onwards, you have to register them for yourself. And then the freely chosen electives you registered for yourself. So here's the thing. I think that it's very smart to get on your elective game as soon as you can. Um, I know that first and second year are really tough and the schedules are really tight, but squeeze in whatever that you can so that you get your electives out of the way. Um, so with freely chosen electives, usually uh, it's like one credit, two credits. So by the time you're gonna try to acquire 18 credits, like that's a lot of courses. So the sooner you start, the better. With the compulsory electives, some of them have like two credits, some have three credits. So those are easier to go by. So I highly recommend that you get on to your credit game as soon as possible. You're also supposed to do, I believe, I don't know, two or three semesters of physical education. If you don't complete that, you can't get your degree at the end. So like, what would be the point? Six, seven years of your hard work and you can't get your degree because you didn't do physical education. So get on that too, pick a sport, complete whatever you're supposed to complete. Once you register for something, try to see it through. You know, because I see a lot of people who, you know, register for courses that they don't eventually take. Also, you're disadvantaging the other person who could take that course and complete it. So, you know, let's be dedicated to the courses that we choose. Great. So, um, first year, first semester, you have the medical chemistry, you have the biostats, biophysics, and you have Latin. I think you have like a computer science course. You have Hungarian, of course, because, you know, for the medical students, you have to do the Hungarian language course for the first three years of medical school. So um, there's those courses. I think they're pretty doable and you can exempt, you know, and even during the exam period, if you put your foot down, you work hard, you can totally do it without busting, you know, a vein or anything like that. And then second semester, that's when you start your anatomy um cell biology genetics so it almost feels like i think second semester that's when you actually start like the med school you know like the stuff that you've been waiting to do this whole time um i think my experience with my first semester was pretty much a little bit similar to the bmc it's more of this like theoretical stuff that feels like it's not actually medical medical school like it's not okay like where's the med medicine part like where do we get to see the patients it's not, <laughs> you know that's how it felt in the first semester but when we started anatomy yeah then things changed a little bit when you started the genetics things changed a little bit and it feels like okay like this feels like the stuff so i think there's a couple of things that i wish i knew before <laughs> And hopefully uh, you guys get to know this before you make these decisions and stuff like that. Or at least you're kind of, you know, prepared before the time comes. The anatomy, there's like a theoretical part and a practical part. The theoretical part is where, you know, you do the topics, you learn about different, you know, parts of the body and things like that. And the practical part is where you have to go into the direct, uh, <laughs> English, into the dissection room, right? you learn on corpses or the deceased or like we call them in medical terms the cadavers right and i think this experience for a lot of people is a first time experience and i think it's nerve-wracking for most people even for someone like me who was really used to you know i really like watching shows from a young age about like you know 
um, people in theater, you know, like liposuction. I used to watch a lot of like Dr. 90210, a lot of gory, you know, blood and everything like that. But even that was different because it's something I'd never experienced in person. So I think it's important to, you know, mentally, emotionally prepare yourself because some people do pass out. Some people are just really queasy. You know, it's, it's something to actually get used to, you know, and I hope that um, people can be respectful about people who decide to give their bodies to science so that we can learn, you know, we can know more about, you know, the human anatomy through other people who have sacrificed their bodies and stuff. So, because, yeah, anyways, that's just how I feel about it, because sometimes I feel like people just like a little respect about it, you know, yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point. So there's the anatomy. I think that's when you have to deal with that department, which is, yeah, a tough department to deal with. And then, of course, the, you have the cell biology. Guys, that was not... Mm. Genetics. Mm. I did not like those courses. <laughs> and then you have biochemistry and molecular biology. Those were, like, my bread and butter. It's not like I liked it, but I think I had kind of, like... A natural ease with it you know what i'm saying so yeah i think that was basically my my first year experience maybe we can put it like the first year experience um in medical school here at the university of debrison you have those courses and things like that how heavy are these to handle i think that it's not that bad to be honest it's very doable if you focus when it's time to focus it's very doable what advice i would give to somebody who is going to start med school here you have to align yourself with the correct people align yourself with people who are also studying medicine i'm not saying you're not supposed to have friends who are studying other things but i think that is very crucial to your journey because that's how you get information that's how you get you know what's coming you know like all the latest past papers and all these other things like you will get it in that circle and not from the other circle and that's important your networking is important you need to study hard but most importantly study smart use this book find out what requirements your courses have when you have your SAT so that you have time to prepare everything is in the bulletin I promise you how long your semester is when you're gonna have your test you can actually prepare yourself for that you know and when your semester is gonna get super busy prepare yourself for that read your uh, this this bulletin and find out what you need to do when what is coming to you you know what I'm saying so that you don't get overwhelmed and stuff like that make sure that you're in touch with like your group mates your year mates the people ahead of you make friends they will tell you what you need to do they will tell you you know what this material doesn't work use this material because i think a lot of times in first year people are just studying everything and they're studying a lot and it's very overwhelming because sometimes you're focusing on what you don't need to be focusing on so in order to zero in and maximize your hard work you know you have to study smart and you have to you know have information from everybody different communities like honestly some of us we owe our degrees to certain people because they were plugging us you know with you know with all the right uh, information all the right notes and videos and whatnot like stay in touch you need to stay in touch with your environment you need to stay in touch with what's going on i definitely encourage you to go for your lectures if you can yeah for me um <laughs> some of them were helpful for me some of them not so much because you know i'll be zoned out most of the time the seminars they're already compulsory if you miss more than three then yeah you you might just fail your course so i encourage that you know do what you need to do you know and not be found like trying to be like oh wow they won't give me my grade they won't give me a signature and this and and all that like i feel like that's just playing irresponsibility like do what you need to do okay make the correct friends and you're good i think uni is more fun when you're doing well in school i promise you that you're gonna have fun in uni but don't lose your focus because at the end of the day you're here to get your education and medicine is not an easy program no matter how much 
fun you it may seem for the people that you're seeing and things like that there's a time that you have to sit down you have to deny yourself of so many pleasures and you know events and parties and whatever that you think you want to do so that you can focus on that and i promise you it's even more satisfying to have that break and that those free activities when you've had a successful exam when you've had a successful exam period so to all the people who want to come to the University of Denverson to study medicine, whether starting from BMC or uh, first year or currently in their first year, you know, you can do it. Focus, connect yourself with the right people, get as much advice as you can, and you can do this. If I could do it, you most definitely can. So, you know, pray hard, work even harder, and play even harder. <laughs> yeah so i hope i'll see you guys next time and i hope this video is helpful please share it with the people who really need it i think this video definitely share it and if there's a structure that you guys prefer for me to use to make this content more understandable or whatever please let me know in my dm follow me on my instagram page it's in the description box both my hair page and my personal page write to me on my on my email your questions and stuff like that i'm here to help and yeah remember to like and to subscribe comment if there's any questions you have and yeah until next time stay blessed and bye